Arthritis is a complex multifactorial disease. In humans, we're commonly aware of two types of arthritis. So osteo or bone arthritis and rheumatoid, so immune mediated diseases. The most common in the dog is osteoarthritis and it's related to wear and tear and damage of the cartilage. Cartilage is the poorest tissue in the body. It does not heal well, it doesn't replace with cartilage, it replaces with bone and that's the typical osteoarthritis. Well, typically, it's no different than what's done for you and I, so it's common sense. And so if I'm developing arthritis, then I should stay lean because the heavier I am, the more load there is on my joints, bones and joints, and the more arthritis develops and progresses. Um, I should stay active, and so it should be low impact exercise. You're far better off exercising regularly, small amounts, than being basically a weekend warrior. So you're a couch potato all week and then a weekend warrior, that's harmful to your joints. But if you have regular low impact exercise, that's ideal. Um, the other things to do are, other than being lean and, and managing activity, is to make sure that you have low impact and diet and supplements and those sorts of things all benefit and limit the amount of arthritis that will develop over time. Lots of resources um, that people can utilize. Um, there's always information on the internet. The trouble with that is that some of that information is, is real and valuable and some of it is not. But typically, um, your veterinarian should have lots of resources available. Um, once the disease progresses, then there is some significant value in seeing a board certified surgeon who d does a lot of orthopedics and can then guide you on advanced management and sometimes advanced surgical options. With evolving technology, there are lots of new tools available to us. Um, our goal obviously is to be less and less invasive, so to be more minimally invasive in how we address um, diseases. And so there are new technologies, so platelet-rich plasma, for example, stem cells. There are lots of new therapies that are intra-articular, injected directly into a joint, for example, that are a lot less invasive than traditional surgeries. Having said that, there are certain times and certain opportunities where stem cell and platelet-rich plasma and conservative therapies aren't ideal and that a definitive surgery is, is indicated. So, for example, we will commonly see patients with advanced hip disease, hip arthritis, knee disease, knee arthritis, osteoarthritis, and their only solution is a total hip replacement or a total knee joint replacement. And so there are definitive therapies that are often surgical, but typically they're salvage procedures, they're end stage procedures. You want to try ideally to, to prevent the body from getting to the end stage arthritic perspective, and that's the ideal. But sometimes the body progresses and then you have to ultimately do the, the, the definitive procedures, and typically those are surgical. Every person, every individual, every dog, every cat is an individual, and so we all have different biology. And so it, our biological behavior is individual to us and dogs and cats, pets are no different. And so the reality is for most diseases, they can be managed and managed well, but it's not often something that can be cured. It's something that's slow and insidious and is something that's managed rather than cured. The surgical options typically do fix the problem. They do cure the problem, but ideally you want to try and manage them so they don't need surgery. Absolutely, so there's lots that can be done. And again, it's common sense. Most things that you and I would do for ourselves, right? So absolutely, um, more padding, um, better flooring. And obviously it's challenging to change your hardwood floor or your tile floor, 
but there are little devices that you can put on the feet, for example, or on the nails that will improve traction. Or you can lay down area rugs or yoga mats or something like that to improve traction and improve their comfort. Um, so typically it's simple management things to improve comfort and enhance their quality of life so they're not scared of the hardwood floor and slipping and sliding and falling as the disease progresses because arthritis is just this slow insidious progressive disease then you would have to increase what you can do the typical rule of thumb used to be just give them medication so give them non-steroidal anti-inflammatories buy them some comfort that's fine that's often necessary but the, the management things are more valuable and more important less invasive as we know all drugs have side effects and things so there's far more value in limiting um, just drugs and looking at the big picture and the husbandry um, to try and help their quality of life.